Hello, Mr. Grimes here bringing you another video. This one is going to be talking about percents and proportions. Okay, and this is going to be a way for us to solve percent problems. Okay, because sometimes you're going to be asked things like 5 is what percent of 20? Uh, and we need a way to figure that out. There's two ways to do it, and one of them is to write an equation, and the other one is to write a proportion. We're going to start off with the proportion, okay? Now, let's think about what a percent is, okay? A percent is some number compared to zero, okay? And we would agree with that. So if, if it was a 2 over 100, it would be 2%. 5 over 100 would be 5%, okay? We're going to compare that to another ratio, but we don't know what that ratio is, but we can describe it, okay? And the way that we can describe that other ratio, a fraction would be a part of a whole thing. Notice the whole thing goes with 100%, and then the part is just a percentage of that item, okay? This is one way to look at it. Percent over 100 equals part over whole. A better way that people have learned to do this is to look at it as percent over 100 equals, uh, I mean, is over of. Okay, and let's see how that works, okay? So here we go, here's example. Okay. 48 is 60% of what number? Okay, so we can use either one of these that we want to, but here's the way it works. Percent is the percent, so we have a percent. So that's going to be 60 over 100 makes 60%. We need to decide, is 48 a part or a whole, okay? So it says 48 of what number? 48 of what number? What does that sound like to you? To me, that sounds like 48 is part of something, okay? Here's where people do the is over of thing. In general, the number closest to is, it, it, it can be before or after is, but close to it. This is your part, and then it will say of what, or of a number. The number after of is gonna wind up being the whole. So the is is gonna be 48. Of what, when we don't know, we say x, okay? And now it's just solving a proportion just like y'all done it in the past, okay? Multi cross multiplying we get 48 times 100 and then we need to say alright well this is 60 times what will give me 4800 right so we need to divide that 4800 by 60 and we get x equals 80 Let's check another problem. What is 175% of 85? So right off the bat we see we got a percent, right? So that's going to be 175 over 100. Okay, now we need to decide what number goes on top, what number goes on bottom. Once again, like I told y'all, the, the number after of is the whole. Okay, so what is of 85%? Okay, what is, so that's the X, is of 85 is the of. And we cross multiply once again and we get 175 times 85 is 14,875 divided by 100 and we 
we get x equals 148.75. Okay. Let's do one more. Let's do, we've done one where we found the whole. We've done one where we found the part. Now, let's find the percent. Okay. Let's see here. What is, no, 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 what percent of 90 is 50? Okay, All right, so it says what percent, so we don't know the percent this time. We just got to figure out is 90 the whole or is 50 the whole? Okay, so it says of 90 is 50. So is is going to be the part on top of 90 is the whole. Cross multiplying, 50 times 100 is 5,000. Yes. Yes, 5,000. And then we divide that by the 90 and we get X is equal to 55.5%. Okay? That's all there is to it. Okay? All you have to remember is percent over 100 equals part over a whole, or percent over 100 equals uh, is over of. Okay? Uh, if you have any questions, uh, let me know and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Until then, see you next time.